All right, and with Vampire Survivor's new update taken care of, we are back on the Beswick, which means Porta is going to go to the Mad Forest, taking it from the top. And let's go with Twilight Requiem, because hopefully getting some area. Yeah, that's much better. Whoever could have guessed that. And Santa Javelin also gets the benefits of the Arcana. So we will be taking that as well. And I don't remember what else does. But I'm taking Santa Water, just so I have nothing but passives I can grab. And weapons that will be useful. Take it out of the pool. And Arbidor, make everything bigger. Okay, this is already morphed to a much better start than everything else. Incredibly about. Uh, do I want to focus on Lightning Ring first? Ooh, wow, that was not good. I mean, Lightning Ring does do more damage. And it clears so much. Santa water is much more consistent. And Santa icicles are there. Ah, shouldn't have moved. I need to go find some light sources. Spawn in light sources, I need you desperately. Uh oh. Yeah, of course, this is the run where I have no light sources, but the actual ability to hit them. Eh, yeah, figures. Ah, maybe I should put more points in Santa water. Okay, there's lightning ring maxed out. This was inverse. I could maybe get a chest early. Evolve it. Hot. Who knows. Man, where are the dang light sources? There's one, finally. And of course it just drops some money. Man, wasn't expecting regular to be so... dastardly. Oh, so there's a chicken. Man, I'm so used to just silent old sanctuary over with a character like this. But having to actually put so much effort into it is a bit strange. I was expecting it to be easier without Inverse just jacking their stats, but that second Arcana had so much power. Oh, Santa Water. Oh yeah, this is much better. Should have done Santa Water over a Lightning Ring. Yeah, my ultimate damage is going to be pretty poor though, isn't it? The lightning Ring does a lot, but it can't do everything. Well, I will Thunder Loop eventually, so... And I will get some off of Silent Old Sanctuary once I grab it. But is that going to be my third or my second? It is arguments for both, since obviously the other one's going to be Tragic Princess. Chest. Give me my stuff. Oh right, that upgrades with Clover, which I don't have. So I'm stuck with the base variant, which is not great, and I barely saw what the Major did. Oh hey, so I could do... I don't know when I'm going to stick the second wave for Santa and Gyor... Rune... 10 in. I'll just random always it now. No real problem with it. Oh man, if the mud men are already giving me trouble, this is not going to go well. Okay, at least I can go find this chicken. Right, that's much better. Huh, awake. I don't want to take awake again. It always feels so cheap to have to rely on it. Yeah, I definitely need Silent Old Sanctuary first. It's probably going to have more of an effect than anything else. And it will buff up 
Santa water as well. No, wait, they'll all get buffed off of Tragic Princess. Oh, uh, well, I have the option. I'll see which one pops up first and just grab it. Hmm. On the other hand, Tunnel Sanctuary has more direct might, so that's helpful. And cool. Yeah, Silent Old Sanctuary is the call. Even here, even now. Uh, she's area, isn't she? It's might, experience, speed with Pascalina, mount with Guerrero, Guerrero, Gernaro, Bob. And then Arca is area, and she's attack speed. No, Arca is attack speed, she's area. Yeah, that's she's area. Llama is curse. And then Poe is Poe. Uh-oh, big bats. Okay, they can't get through, but I can't pierce the heavens. And ten minutes is coming up, so I can evolve Thunder Loop and just Thunder Loop. So that'll be helpful, and then I'll get Arcana Bat, which means that I will then be getting my sweet, sweet Seminole Sanctuary. And things will be alright. Come here, boss. Give me your chest. I am recording, right? Yes, I am recording. You'd think hitting the recording button would mean I'd remember I'm recording. But I gotta check anyway. I don't want yet another video without some... I mean, I could always just rec record it, but I'm tired. I'm always so dang tired. As you can tell, with a cheery disposition in my voice. Tired, tired, tired. This is the tired song. Well, Thunderloop is open, but it'll really be that sound old sanctuary from this bat here. That will bring things to culmination. There we go. Nah, they don't stand a chance. Remember, this is basically as powerful as I get outside the next Arcana. 3-3-3. Three, three, three. Not having all these extra passives is going to be critical for most characters. Sure, I can somehow get... Some characters will be strong enough to just power through it. Other ones are going to be Toasty. And X-Dash. And Ramba. Oh, Ramba, you poor deluded. Cool. Hmm. I mean, Toronto's box over Candle Arador might have been the better call. Toronto's box over basically everything is probably always the better call. I mean, a bit less area, but more damage. Well, granted, with how low the piece damage is uh, still out basically everything. Oh, wow, I'm taking more damage than I thought. Werewolves, man. They'll get you. I mean, Mina should have no trouble, neither would the Asinta, since she could actually evolve now. Let's see, uh, so the Brave story would probably be wave 5. Don't know what otherwise I'd do for the gimmick there. Could do, like, only base weapon, no evolution. No evolutions. But as you can see, it's not like Thunderloop. Thunderloop's good and all, but... You know, I wouldn't change that much here. Especially because we're only going to be getting the harder part sooner rather than later. Honestly, it's really the lack of passes that's causing the problems. And it could do no Arcana, but that, something like that's kind of boring, you know? Arcana are fun to play around with. Like, even base without an old sanctuary or something like that. You know, it's just not that interesting. Or maybe it is. If you want to see something like that, hit up that old comment section. And I will reply, even if it's something banal. Ah, now that's a word that's fallen out of favor, hasn't it? Banal. What a fun word. Banal. Eh. Uh. This is a bat. It's not an Arcana bat. Just a regular boss bat with a red gem, huh? Okay, if even the praying mantises are going down this quick, should have the firepower to take up the mummies. 
Well, I suppose it's really lightning power to take out the mummies. And with that, it should be smoother sailing. Also, the icicle things are here. But mostly it's lightning ring and Santa water carrying this. Well, it was lightning ring, now it's thunder loop carrying this. Yep, embrace the liquid sun. Not to be confused with liquid flame. What a wild boss reference. 16 was so good and I'm ashamed I had that really terrible video quality settings on it. Eh, but it just keep messing up my time over and over and over again. Well, that's also mostly because of the weird HDR thing the PlayStation 5 does. This is on the Series X and the body, the video, video, visual quality is pretty okay. Just the difference between the monitor and my TV making things seem off. I don't know how to get them one to one. Pew, 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 pew. shoot them lasers. Well, not lasers. Shoot that lightning. Huh. Should probably actually do something instead of like... Uh, what is it? One big level, then some smaller ones. That way the video qualities are kind of more manageable. Even though they say that longer and bigger videos offer more power to the algorithm or something like that, which is weird. Well, either one minute or one hour. Nothing in between matters. The algorithm is weird. But hey, I got a bunch of, I got more than one sub in a day, so thanks for that. Thanks for watching the video this far. Some nice Vampire Survivors action going on. Triple the 333 for the third wave is a bit trickier than I imagined it would be. I thought I'd just clown through here, but hey, putting up more of a fight than I expected. After inverse, there, you know, you got a third less HP. So I was just expecting to walk through, but nope, they're actually taking their lumps. That's my arcana chest. Oh, I missed it. Bye bye. Let's see, where are you at? Oh, I... Help, I messed that up. Beginning it is then. More lightning, more ice, more everything. This is only being recorded a few hours before it has to go up. So I was really bad with my time management yesterday and today. Oh boy, is it getting worse and worse. Hopefully it'll be fixed though. Hopefully it will be fixed soon enough. I do have hurry on, right? Yeah, yeah, that's definitely going faster. I just guess going after the 15 minute stages so often in a row means I got confused how long a stage lasts. Because, you know, that was all of like 9 minutes. Eh, why was that dang flower so durable? I mean, I know they're all super durable for some reason. Wait, I can stop moving. I don't have the tragic princess. And I'm not really going to be able to make it over to anything else. I, mean, I guess I could go grab experience gems. That would be nice. Yep. Yeah, they're not getting it either. Oh, well, I have bosses to deal with and I don't have a revive, so I should... Can't just stop watching the screen. Because the boss will get in, and... It will hurt. Okay, I have like a 30 seconds. Can I do anything in 30 seconds? Probably not. Is 
especially not if nothing loads. Okay. Boss yet? Nope, gonna be at the 27 mark. Anything here? Where are you at, boss? I'm sort of keeping my eye out for you. Boss bat. Mummy boss at 28. Ooh, Aura Logan. Let's get all these nice experience gems up. Oh, I didn't get the big one. It's, oh, there I did. Yep. Nice amount of levels there. And even the big bats don't seem to be getting in. That's nice. Oh, one of them did. Uh-oh. This is dangerous. Much more dangerous than I was thinking it would be. Yeah. That's what I get. But no, my hand is on the controller this time entirely. Uh oh. They're getting in. Ah, the gray ones are so durable. But not durable enough. Okay, boom. Big waves don't push in that well. And they can push them forward, but between this what I have, it should be all good. It'd be no trouble at all if I just grabbed, you know, Tragic Princess. Phew, the sweet release of being on alive. Okay, decent stats, but we can do better. All right, it's going to be Llama's time to shine. We'll be going to Inlay Library. And showing off some axe action with some slashing. Oh, that's not good. Start. Hey, Skizabra, that's exactly what I wanted. Nice. Well, I could get Kralo, but why would I want Kralo? I could get a knife. Oh, big knife. Never know when you need a knife. Empty tome first. Get it in the pool. Well, it's on the map, so... I still needed to pick it up. So I'm not going that way. Okay. Alrighty, good. I knew with his increased curse, or... That things would get dicey, so I needed to pick up some defensives. Eventually, I will pick up... You know, higher blue will, and it'll be a lot better. But right now, between these, it'll be all good. I need to go get some dang light sources. Well, hopefully some light sources spawn in. And you don't really... Until you lose the Metaglios, you never really think about how much that health regeneration helps, huh? Man, where are the light sources? No, his luck isn't the greatest, but still. At least one should have spawned in by now. Oops, I take the wrong thing. Hey, why'd it take Slash over Iron Blue Will? That would just silly. Yeah, I didn't take the Empty Tome. What is it with the complete lack of light sources? I don't think there's a way to disable those. But there was. I didn't hit it. This is weird. Like, there's bad luck and then there's nothing. Heck, I can accept bad luck. This is goes beyond it. There we go, jeez. And of course it's just a coin. I don't think a curse that increases the chance of things spawning, that would be really weird. Okay. 
hit pretty hard. It has to be expected from a giant sword, a bunch of axes, and a whole ton of knives in your face. Uh oh. I don't want to mess with that. Man, it's very impressive that I came this far with only one light sword. Say hey, a second one. Now well, let's get my passes up. Alrighty. And uh, axes make them more effective. There's a chicken. Now I should be pretty safe for a while. Then, because the axes have more. Uh, same option, but the axes do the pierce, so. Base damage up. Base damage is still not that helpful, but. That is. Yeah, now they can actually clear a good chunk of the waves out. And hey, I get the projectile knife. Nice. Alright, max damage, so... Da -da -da -da. One more projectile and damage it. Of course, getting the f finisher on a Skizabo would have been really good. Ah, my revenge on the dual hands. It has been too long. That Pearson. Good Pierce. Now you're much less dangerous. Though my power is getting close to capping already. Ah, five damage is just so little. Now I get an entire other knife here. And five more damage. Sure, it doesn't have infinite Pierce though. Uh oh, gotta stay away from you. Wait, what? Did it explode and damage them? I didn't know that could happen. Oh no, it didn't. That just weird coincidence. Alright, do I want to wait for the evolutions to start before I start fighting the Atlanteans? Or do I want to let them lie for now? Which would be that option, what? Where do I want to start taking them on now? Well, knife. The other two can evolve, so... I am getting her, so... I do need to be a bit choosy. Still, this has been pretty relaxed compared to Porta so far. Oh, of course. You are not not the evolution chest. You are a regular chest. Wait, what? Oh, candy box. Oh, candy box, if only. If only. You offer so much. But I have stipulations I must adhere to. Adhere to. Knife. Knife, knife, knife. Not the other ones. The other ones evolve. That limit break would be pointless. I mean, at the very least, for something like Axe, the weapon is different compared to its evolution, where a lot of it is the same. Oh, Pierce or Mount. Pierce or Mount. I think the Pierce is more valuable. Yeah. In fact... Does Thousand Edge actually have Pierce? I'm not sure it does. That's a reason to get it over, to stick with knife over it, wouldn't it? On the other hand, it does so much damage so fast, it doesn't really need pierce. It'll just chew through everything anyway. Still, uh, there is a difference, if that is true. Which I'm not even sure it is. Sweet, sweet evolution. Alright, now I can start fighting the Melantians. Show them how East does it. Well, that is certainly not as effective as Thousand Edge in keeping you back. Oh, right. Arcana Chest, too. And there's the bat with it. Get more Pierce. Get more Evolution. Nice. 
Now I can random always. Silent Old Sanctuary. Iron Blue Will. Iron Blue Will does not affect Legionnaire. But does affect my other two weapons, which is a good idea. And random always. Alrighty, let's see how many Atlanteans you can take out. What? Why are you coming up that way? That's weird, you're weird. No wonder the scythes are coming for you. The death spiral comes for us all. Man. Okay, you're not much of a threat outside inverse, even with the curse going up. So now I'm gonna hold right and eventually run into one of you without realizing it. Ha! You didn't get me that time, you tricksy city Atlantean. And moon Atlantean, I'll show you my moon. Nope. Well, chest. That has nothing in it. I don't need money. I didn't even check how much Santa or your rune 10 cost. Oh wow, an egg already. Without inverse, you go down like chumps, don't you? Complete chumps. Oh well, time to just hold the right and charge. The wild blue yonder awaits. No, oh, little Lulu. What will you do next? Uh, la 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 la. Something something. Dang it, what was that? Oh. Oh, boss. Gorgon. Could have ran into that. Ah, dang it. I don't remember what it was at all. Well, if you remember what it was, I mean, I know what Little Lulu is, it's a comic, but oh, it's about the Andrew... Wait, no. Am I really forgetting his name? Alan Moore, yeah, his, the Simpsons cameo. With him doing that little ditty about Little Lulu. Why do I keep wanting to say Andrew Moore? It's Alan Moore. Yeah, it's not like I've ever read anything by him. Yep. Come on, you know this. Uh huh. Alright, almost the, the next two Atlanteans. Sun Atlantean. Wait, no, this is Volcano Atlantean. Weird. Never really have thought of it, but yeah, the Metaglios are closer than the rings. When usually you'd go after the rings first if you had the option, because, well, Silver Ring's more valuable than Metaglio left outside very niche builds. And even in those niche builds, You'd still probably want Silver Ring stuff. Oh, well, you just took it all. Man, if I had Divine Bloodline, this would be even worse for them. Maybe I should let them at least get a lick in. So they can feel like they accomplished something in their lives before they lose them. I had the first one go down so easy, it's not like it was that much of a difference. Oh, well, that's taken care of. Oh, hey, Super Candy Box 2 Turbo Edition. Which I uh, have two, unfortunately. Oh, actually I don't. I can get Thousand Edge this way. Hoo-ha! Sure, it may show up on the stats gauge, but so does things like the Sarabande and stuff. And that's silly to count. 
So let the boss fall beneath my thousand edges. I need no introduction. Hi, welcome to Vampire Survivors Beswick. We'll be messing around with Lana LaDonna in the Inlay Library. <laughs> eh, what a dopey bit. I don't know. Took up the intro thing. Because blah 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 algorithm chasing. And what can I say? I'd much rather live off of video games than not live off of video games. So I will chase the trend. But also be too lazy to set up channels for both live streaming and videos and reactions and all that junk. Because far more importantly, I want to live easy. And Silent Old Sanctuary, because I got Iron Blue Will. Oh right, I got Iron Blue Will, I forgot. Oh, that makes things pretty simple, eh? Phew. Over 100 episodes in of the Beswick. Closing in on 150, and well over that in actual stage and character completions. And yet, my actual percentage complete has gone down because of all the new additions. Fun additions, but boy, am I losing, losing pace to that. I mean, third and fourth wave will help, but I have no idea what fifth wave is really going to be. Brave story? Non-evolved weapons? Non-evolved single weapons? I mean, brave story, obviously. We're going to do five characters to a video? to a video? Madness! Or perhaps something else. Then again, who else knows what's going on? Yeah, yeah, I really have to set this up better. One, like, main stage, then, like, 120 stage, then 115 stage. That way it's much more consistently balanced, or something like that. It also helps me keep me more focused on new stuff. All that time before I'm so grossly overpowered, I just run around in circles, shooting out an endless storm of knives. Some say there's only a thousand knives, but can you count out a thousand knives on screen? I sure can't, so clearly that must mean it's endless. It was Trickster that I'm gonna go visit if this was inverse, and then we could go high five the director in his Avatar Dan Furnace form. Except I don't. Well, they don't have animations for high fives. Or do they in co op? I mean, you gotta do something in co op. I mean, I guess opening the coffins for the revives counts as a high five if you're really feeling saucy about it. Oh, Iron Blue Will, you are so strong. You are so strong, you blow my mind. Hey, Iron Blue Will. Clap, clap, clap. Alrighty, only a bit more of a minute to go. And Llama will have taken us through the inlaid library. And it turns out that books are only valuable when they make your knives sharper and faster. Take that, college education. Take that, non-college education. Take that, printing press. We don't need you, we have oral retellings. Those clearly won't be corrupted horribly. Game of telephone? Everyone knows that's just one-to-one -one the whole way down. No information to degradation at all. 
That's why we're the vampire survivors. A oh, pretty clean run from Lama Ladonna here. The spiral doing the most work because Legionnaire really didn't have anything to power off of. And, well, Thousand Edge was right on the trail to surpass it. Wow. Yeah, but even without knife it didn't. Either way, that's another one down. Okay, I've had a change of heart. Clarici is going to be going all the way over to Carlo Kart because it's totally going to make the video shorter and not because I got to 29 minutes on Dairy Plant and still lost. Yep, totally completely separate events that had nothing to do with one another. Oh. Drop my holy water drop. Hey, Song of Mana, what are you doing? Clearing out the bad guys. That sounds good. How about you, Silver Wind? Oh, you'll also clear out the bad guys. Whoever knew that would have happened. And hey, turns out that when I have both my weapons, things show up that I need. Passively, very fast. Man, it's all at the bottom, huh? I don't need the damage, but I would appreciate the area. Speed up. Go fast. Gotta get that Carlo Kart bonus madness going. And the track door is also going to be an attractive option. Oh, there goes a the chest already. And there's the empty tome, finally. Head. Basically nothing to go but up, and yet still would not show. Oh, time for some attractor. Wow, you're all frozen on the tracks. Ain't that impressive. Ah. Uh, yeah. Man, as soon as I go to the bottom it'll show up at the top, won't it? It absolutely is going to. Come on, show me. Show me the money. I know you want to. There it is. I don't even know what I'm getting. I'm just holding right and running into Trickster here. Because I just want to get that sweet, sweet boots pad. Oh yeah, boost pad. Get that speed going. Oh hey, more chests that I'm not going to be able to grab ever. Uh oh, I missed the boost pad. This one will surely be the top next time. Uh, no, I think it's the bottom. Wait, is there an indicator? I missed it each time this time. No, that was just a chest. I got that one at least. Nope. I was on the track and everything. I just stepped off it at the wrong time. My miner's not hitting random always. Yeah. Zoom, zoom, Zandy. Yep, I'm getting all them gems, even from the bats coming on from off the tire racetrack. King Bible Expressway. Hey, a vacuum. And I'm even faster now. Thank you, starting line, or finish line, lap line. Yeah, they stay still. They don't move with the map. I expected as much from the fact that I had already used it before and knew this. But my mind is long since gone. Oh hey, I actually got a chest. Neato.
Perhaps even a Gravelord type Nido. Oh yeah. Hey, Arcana Chest. I have no idea. Oh, hey, yeah, I actually grabbed it. Actually, I probably should get Tragic Princess Woods, shouldn't I? Since I'm always a moving. Or at least it says I'm always moving. But this isn't back country, so I can stop here. Wait, what? Oh, I actually did damage because this is the one hard wave. Oh, right, it's Stalker. Inexplicable speed ups are the default. And my damage is not great. No, oh, hey, love ups. And I got a chicken out of there somewhere. Oh man. This is really annoying. I know I put this off and it's ultimately my fault, but still. Oh, I'm all. Well, Stalker's gone. He's the threatening one. This is a fodder wave. So eventually I'll just get enough chickens to hopefully survive. And a speed up. Yay! I've got enough speed to always hit it now, for sure. Man, this does not feel like it's going to only be 15 minutes. Hey, Blinder, you're actually on screen with another one for once. Is the clock actually double here? Huh. You know, I think I'd check this after all this time. But no, I just keep not doing it. Because I'm lazy in the most strange ways. What? Why did you speed up all of a sudden? Oh, it's just the shooters. No trouble here. And I get healing back from Silver Wind. And from the chickens that keep spawning in. Wow. There. Go away. Alright, now you'll return for the final rush. And that shouldn't be a... Well, I mean, it shouldn't be a problem, but it probably will be. Because this has been strangely more difficult than it should be. All my... rear defenses are solid, at least. No, yeah, those could have been candy boxes. Alright, they're back. And in pog form. Just gonna slowly cart away. How you doing, fellas? Poorly? Yeah, I figured it would be poorly. Oh no. And now I can actually get the video put up. And on account of my both incredible laziness and incredible poor management times, three more characters have checked off the Beswick. And strangely, not in the way they should have. I really need to fix this. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. There will be more Beswick same time tomorrow. I'm going to use the new outro to do the begging. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching. Vampire Survivor is beating every stage with every character 146. Like if you like the video, give a comment if there's any builds you want me to try, a subscription to support, and a dislike if you didn't like any of this. Thanks for watching, thanks for all your support. Have a good day and keep messing around.